Hello everyone, welcome back to a new kind of episode. I'm enjoying my night, my nice little chair right here. Today, I'm just, just going to say first of all, I, I, I'm an absolute expert at prehistory, so I pretty much know everything about it, so enjoy this episode. We, we will have clips, I re recorded them, and I have t tested to make sure that they are non copyrighted so so you will see this video because I have just I, I always had to test these clip these clips and making sure they're non copyrighted and they're all safe that I uh, was handed over to to me by by a friend anyway we got my mic finally uh anyway without further ado Let's get started. And I'm gonna. F and, uh. Ho hope you guys enjoy. Basically, we're gonna talk, t talk about the. <laughs> I, I pronounced this once today. And. No, I can't pronounce it again. <laughs> it is. There is a part in history called the D Denis Evans. And it sounds awfully similar to this this time period so <laughs> if I get confused just feel free to say that in the comments please it's the uh, I don't even, but it's it, it's around 500 million years ago and then we'll talk, talk about the Eocene period which is which is now in present day Sierra Desert we'll roll some clips obviously but hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys after the intro. And enjoy and have a good day. Goodbye. By the storm gold and diamond jewels behind the throne into the I don't know, but anyway, guys, we are going to begin. Now, one thing that I will have to do is I will have to, uh, I will have to censor some stuff out. Otherwise, I will get get, get copyrighted, I'm pretty sure. At least there, there will be a higher chance of having them, but it is uncopyrighted, so I do have to censor some stuff out. But... I, I will talk during the ghost because we're gonna have clips just so you have a better visual understanding of uh of of th this history because I think it's better if we have visuals instead this just being a talk show yeah so 
I've already recorded that, that, that eclipse, obviously, so I'll roll the clips, uh, enjoy, and, uh, hopefully this, this is a great series, I'm gonna continue it, whether you like it or not, so even if each episode gets three views, you honestly just don't have a choice, sorry, you just don't got a choice, whether you like it or not, anyway, roll the clips. Well, um, that fish is about to be eaten by Mr. Hungry. That's a Dunkleosteus. It can bite through chainmail and an armored fish. It's going to have to cough it up, as you can see there. Okay, guys. So, now, now we'll, we'll be ta talking about sea scorpions and... And, uh, and ba 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 basically orthogons, so there are a few things that you need to know about them before we ro roll the clips and roll them with music, obviously. I have to tell you, I'll write a subtitle. Just make sure you read all the subtitles that I write, because they're all very important. Anyway, let's begin. So, see, see, hey, scorpions are like the scorpions that, you know, you, you don't always see, except like... There, there, there are arthropods, and and they used to be our ancestors' worst enemies, and and they were really, yeah, they were really, uh, they were, they, they, they were definitely fucking badass. So, uh, so they, 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 for first of all, they li li lived in the sea. They, they can't can breathe oxygen, and I'll talk talk a little. A little bit more about that in just a second. Uh, they could breathe, breathe oxygen. They 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 also uh they they had little mouths like nya, 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 nya. yeah. So they ate you know things on the bottom, and they were not the top predators. There was a, a creature called an orthocone that that could uh kill kill them very easily and uh. And you know there there was plenty li li life on the sea. You'll see that in the clip. It's an orthogon needs a sea scorpion, but but however, if you look on land, there was nothing on land, and there was no oxygen. So if you could go back there, then you'd need a whole, whole oxygen tank. Otherwise, you probably would fail sick and eventually pass out. So. And in speaking of there being no oxygen on land, there also wasn't any predators on land because there's no oxygen. If there's an oxygen, I can't breathe and I'm so <sighs> No, I'm not dead. That's <sighs> just what happened. So everything would rot. Some would get fossils, some wouldn't, and you can buy, you know, trial by fossils that, you know, somewhere, but. It's pretty cool that they're engraved it in rock, but but obviously I'm more interested in in these types of fossils. They're way cooler. I'll make some more episodes on them. I'll make a episode on them, and they're and they're pretty badass. Anyway, that's out of the way. Enjoy the clip. I'll talk ab about it. I'll I'll talk talk about it after. Enjoy the clip. Roll it. Yeah. Oh, before we roll roll the clip again. See, he a scorpion. Say absorbed oxygen, like like we we would. Except you, like, we're like, this is me. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day. I'm so thankful for oxygen. I I am actually. I'm also thankful for water. And food. And being alive. <laughs> anyway, now that's that's out of the way. I would just stay on topic. Because we ain't talking about Thanksgiving. Anyway, uh so so this is a hey hey diagram of me. I should set it up right there. Ah it's just a wonderful day to breathe in oxygen. I'm so relaxed. Oh yeah, I'm sleeping.
Okay. I have reduction this way. Ooh, we have oxygen. And that's just a sea scorpion. Anyway, puzzle clips. Look at those sea scorpions. They're about to have company, and not very good company, if you ask me. That right there is the giant orthocone. It's about to have a little snack. Oh, dead. Okay. Guys, I don't know. Wait, but I took a really long break, okay? And I'm finally back recording this. Anyway, I I said that I was going to put, you know, some some music with the videos, but I we have a really long intro for the whole whole series, so uh scratch that idea. So I'll just comment on that and, and, and you probably already know that. Just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I've actually there were a couple of different versions of this movie that 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 I've made, and some of them aren't that. Uh, and it's kind of changed. It's like Jurassic Park. They had many different, you know, s skits for it, many different little takes on it. But anyway, uh, hopefully this is the the version that you'll see. Anyway, so. So, so as you can see in that late latest clip, sea scorpions and orthocons are very fierce. Yeah, if they were alive, alive today, then it would definitely be, be something to see. But hopefully, these videos get better as, as the series progresses. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I believe our next clip is going to be about. Eocene period. So the Eocene uh, is, I, I I believe that's forty five. Wait, yeah, it's Eocene. So so the Eocene. This is not that 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 would be sixty million to to forty five million years ago. So so yeah, it's uh, it's quite. Is quite quite something, but 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 right now, we are talking about the Sahara Desert, as you can see up there. Uh, but it would that it's it may be it may be a desert now, but it used to be a lush swampland, you know, filled with trees and mangroves, which eventually, you know, the continents of Europe and Asia. Wait. You're, that doesn't make any sense. Am I seriously wearing this? Wait, I'm wearing it right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, but continents of of uh, North and you know Asia come come together, and the sea dries up. So it's just climate change again. That's that is an ancient killer, so of many species. And so animals die, but I will make you know an episode for for, for their in in detail on it later. Uh, this is kind of just you know, episode. Uh, anyway, you know there 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 were droughts and. And we may may make an episode spe specific to the Eocene, but right now we're, we're just making these right now. But anyway, moving on. Uh, you know there there was but still a source in the ocean. It's a it it is a pre predatory uh whale that that ate ate fish big, big fish, so it doesn't eat plankton, and it's only two. It's uh, the only, and it was de definitely the the biggest whale. And of course, if it was forced to, and there was you know heavier fish short shortage, then uh, then it would hunt Dorodon, which is a species, a smaller species of whale. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're kind of, kind of like let let like dolphins in a sense, except a little bit furrier, <laughs> and then. On the land, you had a peaceful fruit deer, which I will include in the clip. It, it, it is called 
Ursinotherium, and and it although it's it may seem a little bit weird and odd, but it's not weird. It's just unique, and it it ate fruit. So and it's related to to, to the hippopotamus and and rhino. So they're all friendly, but it, I do wish that you know it was like that. Anyway, moving on again. <laughs> Uh, rolls clips. This is Ursin Theorem. It's a, it's a gent, gent, gentle fr- fruit eater like, like, like rhinos. That's the Bacillosaurus. It, it is really massive, <laughs> as you can see. It <sighs> is no joke, so obviously it's not interesting you. It's just a, a whale, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the deal, but I had to censor some out some things out for some reasons. Enjoy the rest of the movie. Okay guys, so so this is the rotting flesh. Uh, as you can see there's no predators on the land. Okay guys, so hope you enjoyed the movie. It's the end of fifteen minutes. I've never actually recorded a video with, with with this video editor that has been fifteen minutes. Okay now, if you guys enjoy it. I'm continuing the series, whether you like it or not. It's for educational purposes, even though I get four views on it. Uh, and I'm gonna have to remember to check the to watch the whole 15 minutes to make sure everything's all good. But I'll see you guys in the next episode next Saturday. Or aren't you gonna? Whenever it's possible to be, be, be because I'm with my my mom. Uh, for for this next week, so maybe I'll I'll, I'll work on it th- throughout the week. But hope you guys enjoy. Uh, like, subscribe for this special location. Maybe I'll I'll upload daily. We'll see. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and have a good day. Bye bye.